Hi there. Today I'd like to share with you three simple maths tricks and I'll also include an explanation as to why these tricks work. So the first trick is where you take any three digit number and you multiply it by 7, multiply it by 11 and then multiply it by 13. And in the example here I've started off with a number of uh, 258. So I'll punch that into my calculator, 258, yep, and multiply by 7, multiply by 11, and multiply by 13, and then the answer is 258258, which is 258258, as I've got there on the, uh, the piece of paper. So basically you start off with 258, um, you multiply by those three numbers, and then the answer is 258258. So the original number appears sort of twice in the, uh, in the answer. So that's pretty cool. And the next one is where you take any four-digit number, and you multiply by 73, and then you multiply by 137. So in the example, I start off with 6139. Yep. I multiply that by 73. And then I multiply it by 137. And the answer is 61396139. So it's the original number, which now suddenly is appearing twice in the answer. And then the third one is where you take any two digit number, multiply by 3, multiply by 7, multiply by 13, and then multiply by 37. And so push that up a little bit, uh, 57, yep, multiply by 3, by 7, by 13, by 37, yep, and the answer is 575757, five, seven. so it's uh, the 57 um, now appears sort of three times in the answer with that uh, number of 575,757. So that, yeah, that's sort of three cool little uh, maths tricks. Um, all sort of similar ideas where you take uh, a number, either three, four, or two digit number, multiply it by um, a, f a few different numbers, and then the original number is appearing twice, twice, or three times in the, uh, in the answer. Now, if you want to think about how this trick works, then click on the pause button. Otherwise, I'm going to go straight into the explanation. And the explanation is, if you think about multiplying by 7, by 11, and by 13, is, well, if you actually multiply that out, if you multiply 7 by 11 by 13, 7 by 11 by 13, then that's the same as multiplying by 1,001. Yep, 1,001. And if you think about it, multiplying by 1,001 is the same as multiplying by 1,000 and then also multiplying by 1 and then adding those uh, two answers up to get your final, your final answer. So if you multiply 258 yep, by 1,000, then that's going to be 258,000 and then 1 times 258 is just got to be 258 and then if you add those uh, add those two numbers together then obviously the answer is 258 258 as we've worked out here okay so the next one then 73 times 137 is the same as multiplying by uh, 10,001 Yep, 2001. And then if you break that down into the two parts, then it's just, that's the same as multiplying by 10,000 and also multiplying by 1 and then adding those two numbers together. So if we have that, um, if we take the 10,000 then and multiply it by 6139, as we've done there, then that's just 6139 with 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros on the end. And then obviously 1 times 6139 is just 6139 and we add those up 
And the answer, of course, is 6139. Yep, 6139. And the same for the two-digit number, or this is slightly, slightly more complex, is that 3 times 7 times 13 times 37 equals 10,101. So that's the same as taking any two-digit number and multiply it by 10,101. And that actually needs to be broken up into three parts to do that, uh, that calculation, or that's, um, yeah, that calculation. So 10,101 is, 101 is the same as multiplying by 10,000, multiplying by 100, and multiplying by 1. And then 57 times 10,000 is just uh, 57 with four zeros. 57 times 100 is 57 with two zeros, and 57 times 1 is just 57. Yep, and just add those three together, and obviously the answer is going to be 57, 57, 57. Yeah. So rather than telling somebody, say, to, to take a three-digit number and multiply by 1,001, or a four-digit number and multiply by 10,001, then... We make the trick uh, less obvious by breaking that that number down into you know three two or three different numbers, and it looks like um, you know the answer appears magically I suppose. So yeah, so there we go. That's uh, three uh, simple math tricks that you can try um, on your friends, and also I've included an explanation as to why those uh, three tricks work. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and goodbye for now.